Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 21st of April. Ah, tornado season in Alabama. More active weather last night. We could see some more uh, rain and storms today, but the Easter weekend should be relatively dry. Let's check out some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. There's the uh, Jasper Skycam where it is raining at 5 o'clock. Had some really strong winds pass through with a bow echo last night in through there. Had a lot of trees blown down across Walker County and other northwest Alabama counties about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock last night. There's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. That's the uh, Hugh Thomas Bridge. They've had a lot of trees down yesterday morning in a storm about 9 o'clock. And the Birmingham Metro, that's the Inverness Sky Cam. Always a good time to travel Highway 280 at 5 o'clock. I see, what, two cars out there. All right, uh, a stalled wavy surface boundary on the southern edge of the westerlies. Uh, draped out across the deep south, and that's uh, resulting in more unsettled weather today. There's the uh, radar composite across the deep south. And, of course, a lot of that's ground return, but it is raining this morning at 5 o'clock over Bibb and uh, Perry County. Some light rain northwest of Birmingham. Uh, bigger storms back in Arkansas, and that uh, wavy front just kind of hangs around again today. So it's not going to rain all day, but it could rain at any time today with a, a few passing showers and storms. I don't think we'll have the severe weather issues we had yesterday morning, but as always, this is April, so you have to watch them. Boy, look at the storm totals. I had a really nasty uh, storm cluster last night over Lowndes County, Mississippi. Just kind of sat there. And uh, this is suggesting they had over six inches of rain last night around Columbus, especially south of Columbus, and heavier totals in northwest Alabama. Many uh, folks there getting over two and a half inches of rain. The amounts were much lighter as the storms accelerated and raced through uh, east Alabama late last night. And notice to the south, hardly anything uh, for the U.S. 80 corridor and point south because of the upper ridge. And that upper ridge will be moving northward uh, tonight, so... That means much drier weather for uh, the northern half of the state beginning tomorrow. Still today, because of the threat of additional showers and storms, the Weather Service in Birmingham continues a flash flood watch for many of their counties, and that also goes back into uh, Mississippi. In terms of severe weather today, the standard slight risk is west of here, uh, north Texas up to near Kansas City. Tomorrow, a risk of severe weather from near the Red River of Texas and Oklahoma, around Lake Texoma, up to about Columbus, Ohio. The higher probabilities are centered over Missouri, northwest Arkansas, and northeast Oklahoma. And then on day three, which is Saturday, low in 5% probabilities for severe weather from uh, the Rio Grande up to near Atlantic City. And on day five, which is Monday, a risk of severe weather around the Arklatex and up to about Springfield, Missouri. And that system will be affecting us by the middle of next week. But exactly, you know, what modes of severe weather, the timing, that remains to be seen. QPF chart, rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening at 7 o'clock. The, the bigger numbers are north of here. Keep in mind, after today, we should go mostly dry for the Easter weekend, the heavier totals from the Texas Hill Country up into New England with amounts approaching five inches on the Illinois-Indiana border. Here's the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today. You can see the ridge beginning to move north. But still we have the surface boundary around, so we'll hang on to the chance of showers and storms today. Tomorrow the ridge is stronger. The westerlies are farther north, and we think the day will be generally dry. A, a new surface load develops near Omaha, Nebraska, and inevitably that would mean some active weather to the south and east of that surface low, but around here we'll call it partly sunny. We turn warmer with mid-80s likely. And uh, Saturday starting off the weekend, very warm and mostly dry. And understand it's going to be very muggy. We can't rule out the chance of a little speck on radar somewhere, but for now the chance of rain looks so small we're not going to mention that. A very warm summer-like day. And the same thing on Easter Sunday, mid to upper 80s. Close to record levels, pretty good deal of sunshine and muggy, but in most areas dry. Could you see a little spot on radar? Yes, but uh, we're not going to mention that. 
All right, Monday, boy, look at that negative tilt short wave to the west. That looks like trouble. Surface load developing on the Texas-Oklahoma border, and that could certainly mean some severe weather issues to the southeast of that low, Arkansas, east Oklahoma, northeastern Texas. And Tuesday, the trough evolves out west. It's taking its time. Its energy still dives down the back of that. The lead surface low is moving up into uh, the Great Lakes region, and uh, active storms will likely continue just northwest of the state. And look at Wednesday. This latest run is much slower. It's still got the trough axis way back off to the west, and uh, still the most active weather just west of here Wednesday at midday with the new surface low developing near Monroe, Louisiana. And so this run is suggesting the main severe weather issue might come Wednesday or Wednesday night in, in contrast to previous runs, which, which suggest it would be Tuesday night. And then Thursday, very strong trough rotating through here. The a big batch of showers and storms begins to move out. So we'll just say it looks like another severe weather episode by the middle of next week, but exactly when and what modes of severe weather are most likely, just too early to answer yet. And we'll check the end of the forecast on May the 6th. Look at that ridge. That looks like summer, doesn't it? Winds aloft, light and variable, and that would be hot and dry, if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We will have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. Uh, the next video here by 3.30 today. And if you're local to us around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.